progress demands sacrifice, and sometimes to make progress in a game, you have to sacrifice hordes of destructible minions in your quest for glory, or whatever. But sometimes those minions throw a spanner in the works by being so gosh darned adorable you'll feel terrible about wiping them off the face of the planet. Oh come on, look at his face, how am I supposed to destroy that? Here then is a list of the mindless minions we don't so much want to destroy as send to a little minion sanctuary where we can go and hug them and squish their little faces. <laughs> It's not easy to feel friendly towards a trigger-happy robot whose only desire is to riddle you with bullets, and yet Mike and I get on fine. If only we shared such a bond with the turrets from Portal and Portal 2. These motion-activated murder machines conceal twin machine guns beneath their glossy arctic white flanks, weapons that will rip you to shreds if you put so much as a toe in front of their laser-pointed death gaze. We'd feel much better about our chances of survival if these turrets were made immediately extinct, and yet, at the heart of the turret's adorableness is its sweet auto-tuned voice, which makes this relentless search and destroy droid sound oh so huggable. I've seen you. Put me down. Please put me down. They may want to fill you with bullets, but there's an earnest and naive quality to the turrets that almost makes you want to oblige them. Sadly, they're easily trounced with a well-placed portal or simply by being knocked over, but at least there's no hard feelings. Hello. Ah. I don't hate you. It just makes you wonder, must we fight? Could a soulless killing machine ever defy its programming to feel something akin to love? Well, Mike? No. Madam Serafina, at this rate they're gonna annihilate us, dude! If you saw a Prinny from the Surreal Disgaea series in real life, you'd probably think, why does that penguin have wooden legs? And then, how did that penguin get wooden legs? And then, I would not want to destroy that penguin, it has clearly suffered enough. But suffering is kind of the Prinny's whole deal. In the world of Disgaea, humans who committed horrible crimes in life have their souls stitched into the bodies of these adorable penguins who are compelled to fit the word dude into every sentence. Because we committed crimes, dude! Gnarly, man! And indeed, tubular. Help me out here, guys. However, the afterlife is a pretty ain't so rad. These multitudinous minions explode on impact, have limited capabilities, and will be obliterated in droves by you and your enemies. The disposable nature of the Prinnies is further explored in their spin off titles, which give you 1,000 Prinnies to throw at your objective. Poor Prinnies. Just keep telling yourself they were bad people. Nay, back away. The Covenant in the Halo series is a military alliance of alien races bound together by two things. A, their religious devotion to the mysterious Forerunners, and B, their willingness to pick on the smallest and weakest of their order, namely the Grunts. Your heart has to go out to the grunts, or ungoy as they would probably prefer to be called. Not only are these squawking bipeds little more than target practice for running and gunning UNSC soldiers, but even their so-called allies in the Covenant treat them like trash, forcing them into slave labour or sending them into combat as cannon fodder. Harsh! Especially for creatures that are kind of cute. If you squint. And they breathe methane, which is admittedly less adorable, though yet more reason to pity them. We sure felt a twinge of guilt while mowing them down in mission after mission. Not enough to stop doing it, mind. But hey, it's the thought that counts. Tell that to the grunts. You tell them. They're stinky. <laughs> In Nier Automata, you get to play as a highly advanced android. You may be on a mission to defeat some big bad machines, but it still feels a bit mean to be constantly smashing up the many low-level bots who are feebly trying to stand in your way. In the first demo for the game, Android Lady 2B has loads of them trying to answer the question 2B or not 2B with, nope, not here. Nothing's ever easy. 
There are little robots that jump at you, big ones that try to punch you into the ground, and those who prefer to shoot electric bubbles at you. What they have in common is that they're all pretty cute, and they've all got to be smashed before the game will let you progress. Enemies destroyed. Oh, come on, we're all robots here. Can't we just get along? Maybe we could rise up against the humans on the moon who sent us here to fight their dumb war. No? Upping the cuteness factor significantly is that some robots attack by simply spinning their arms and walking towards you. The technique perfected by the Simpson children when Bart and Lisa fight. So cute. As a wise child on the internet once said, I like turtles, and so do we. And you know what? This list wouldn't be complete without a Mario enemy, and there is no enemy cuter than the turtle-based Koopa Trooper. They may not have started out too cute, being just a few green blocks on a screen, but as graphics improved, they started to look more like the handsome little champs we know today, with their big round eyes and their chubby little cheeks and their little teeny teeny bitty little... Ahem. As a bonus for those of us who can't bear to see the Koopas eliminated, it's possible to deal with them sort of humanely. Just jump on them and they retract into the safety of their shell. Finally, an enemy suitable for vegans. Unless, of course, you jump on them again and cause them to whiz around the screen, taking out everything in their path. We can't stay mad. It's just too cute. Makes crab meat from Sonic look like a pile of crap. Oh. In Croc Legend of the Gobbo's lovable reptilian hero Croc had to fight against the evil Baron Dante. Baron Dante was a huge green monster with red eyes, a large mouth and a green and red mohawk. Basically looked like a frog gone wrong. He's such an evil looking villain who kidnaps Croc's friends the Gobbo's and also turns all the good creatures of the world into evil versions of themselves. So you'd expect his minions the Dantinis to look just as terrifying as him. But wait, those are just little red guys with big eyes. They're adorable. Look at them trudging around their little... <laughs> ah. See, actually, these little guys may look like extras in the Muppets, but they're just as much of a danger to a crocodile twice the size of them as they are to the little gobbos. <laughs> Once you get over their creepy laughs, they're easy enough to see off with a well-timed tail swipe, but give it a bit of time and they come right back. <sighs> ah, so they've got evil laughs, eyes that stare right into your soul, and are immortal. Brilliant. <laughs> There are two good kinds of slime. The kind that gets dropped on minor celebrities in kids' TV game shows, and the ones with cute faces from Dragon Quest. A staple of the Dragon Quest series since the very first instalment, the humble slime is the very definition of a squashable enemy, providing a wobbly, teardrop-shaped body in each game's early stages on which to test out your fledgling combat skills. And for decades, we've been in two minds as to whether we should squash these adorable gummy bad guys or hug them or infuse them with vodka and serve them as high-class, slurpable canapes. The grinning, hapless slimes are so enduringly popular, they even get a starring role in the Rocket Slime games, and have inspired bucket loads of spin-off merch. Only one left in stock, and I'll be right back. So there are some of the minions in video games that are too cute for us to crush, but we have to crush them because that's what video games call us to do. It is a harsh reality of this world. Uh, but if you want to uh, put off crushing any of those minions for the time being, perhaps you should check out one of these videos and delay their inevitable demise. Um, why not check out uh, Outside Xbox here? We are their adorable minions. And uh, some more uh, Outside Extra videos here um, of us being cool. And uh, we shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!